It is a windy day out here in Oklahoma, but I'm going to show you guys uh, feeding the pigs and talk about raising pigs for meat. These pigs I got out here are on the verge of going to the processor in like a week. Uh, but real quick, I'm going to show you something I got in the van for really cheap. And I was wondering um, what the prices of this is in your home area. Uh, leave me a comment down below. I bought some corn. So I got eight bags of corn here, 50 pounds a piece counting the chicken feed now the corn is cheap out here in oklahoma right now it was five dollars and fifty cents for 50 pounds of whole corn um, i'm just kind of curious uh, leave me a comment down below how much does whole corn cost in your area um, so anyways if you guys didn't know i feed i'm feeding my pig straight corn for the last 30 days um, old timers always say that's what they did uh, that's how they always raise their pigs it's supposed to be uh, make the meat taste sweeter i guess um, i actually have some some uh, pork chops I save, that I'm saving just to do a taste comparison when I get this, these pigs back to see if they are any sweeter because last year's pigs I did not do this but I have before in the past um, but it's so windy out here I hope this video turns out but I got, I got my little mic on um, so hope, hopefully it's not too windy for you guys I'm going to fill the pig water up but first I'm going to show you feeding them some corn and we'll talk a little bit about them and if I go find my tape I'll come back out here and I'll tape them and we'll see how big they are Okay, so while they're eating, I'm going to try to get in here. I'm going to try to tape them so um, I can weigh them. That's the, that's the way you can weigh your pigs um, without actually having a scale. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape whichever ones I can. That's, I think that's the bigger one right there. I'll tape her first, uh, and I'll tell you guys what the number is. But then I'm going to go in the house, and I'll figure it out um, towards, towards the end of the video. So stay tuned towards the end of the video um, to guess what their weight is. And I'm going to guess right now. They look bigger to me now than they were obviously a week ago, but... They look, they just look bigger to me now. Um, so I guess last week, the two bigger ones were probably, I think, 220 to 235. The smaller ones was 200 to 215. I think I'm wrong. I think the bigger one is pushing well over 250, and the smaller one's pushing 230. So we'll see if I'm right. You guys guess down below, then we'll go in the house, and uh, we'll figure it all up. And I'll show you guys tape them real quick. Sometimes it takes a little while. Hopefully I can get them. You gotta feed them to let, so they'll let you do it to them. You gotta distract them to feed. But they're not even liking, they're not even liking this on them. It may not happen. It may not happen. I touched her little hernia. She didn't like that. It's gonna be tough today. Real tough. Forty-four and a half long. Uh. 
gonna drive me crazy. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Can't get it. Just can't get it. Okay, so that was about 10 minutes of trying. Um, they're just not going to let me do it. I'm getting in there. They're, just, they're some of the most tame pigs I've had, yet they won't let me get underneath their belly. And I'm telling you, these things are big. They're a lot bigger than I thought. Um, they look, they're a lot bigger in person. They probably look in, in the video. Um, I'm thinking this one right here is pushing 250, 260. And the other one's 230 probably around there somewhere somewhere around there um we'll probably have just have to wait till we get their live weight um this next week and uh ah, that's that's the thing about homesteading when you try to do some of these things on video you just can't get it done um but anyways i want to talk to you all how to how i raise my pigs for meat and you've got if you have been following me over the last i don't know probably four or five months as i've had these pigs six months um you'll see that i've kept them in this small pen um it doesn't always look the nice the nicest and, and cleanest but it's a pig pen it's not supposed to be your dog pen or something like that it's a pig pen and that's what a lot of people don't realize is pigs don't need a lot of space and they do they don't need a clean space they love the mud the dirt the poop the pee they'll pee and poop in there and then they'll roll around and they'll drink it and i mean it's the it's the craziest thing in the world um, but i'm raising these pigs for four different families i think wait wait one two four six families i'm raising these three pigs for six families um orange family homestead's getting a half i'm getting a half and then four other families are going to get a half um, so it's going to work out really well um the last month like i said before i'm putting my straight corn and the corn is so cheap right now um it's almost like man i should have been feeding it the whole time but they don't they don't, uh, from my experience they don't gain near as much weight um with the corn obviously because it's not high in protein like um like the the, the food that i have been giving them um, I, I get a local uh pig feed uh pig grower from the local uh mill that we have um, it's called stillwater milling yeah, so that's one suggestion I got for you guys. If you're new to raising pigs, don't go to the just the box stores like Tractor Supply and them and buy your feed because you're going to pay well over double, and then you're going to have so much money invested in these pigs. Um, and it's not always about saving money. That's kind of all. That's kind of just a perk. That's one of the perks of raising yourself is saving money. Um, but the main perk is that you know exactly what you're putting into your hogs. Um, you know the quality of life they have. If that means something to you, then raise your own pigs. Um, if you want to go to Walmart and buy your meat, that's, that's fine. I don't care where you get your meat from. This is just what we do for our family is, and for other families is try to raise the best quality of meat in these pigs as possible. And I think we've achieved that year after year. And I've proven it on YouTube for year after year. Um, we've, we've been raising pigs going on six or seven years like that, um, something like that. And I always get my pigs in the spring and butcher in the late fall. Um, so these got a butcher date for next week. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to being able to provide uh, meat for other families too. Um, they always greatly appreciate that. And I just love doing it. Let's take a look at the pigs. Ah, oh, you pigs wouldn't let me weigh you. I just can't get around them. So yeah, you may be looking at this pig pen and say, that is nasty. It is, it is nasty. It's a pig waller. It's a pig house. There's pig poop. I mean, it's just, it's, it is what it is. And that's what, that's the reality of raising your own animals. You get to see, you get to see wh what they thrive in. Um, I could have these in a one acre lot and they're still gonna have an area that looks just like this that they hang out in all day long. They're, they're pigs, that's what they prefer. They, pre they prefer, they prefer the waller with all the pee and pooping it's crazy to me um but that's what it is and uh, some people some people don't don't agree with it well those people probably haven't raised their own pigs and really don't know what they're talking about um so yeah i love i love doing this i love it so a real quick rundown how we raise our meat pigs is um we always run in twos always have pairs they've i've always uh i've always experienced they do better when there's more than one it's kind of like competition for food um same thing with dogs i mean if you put a dog if you get two dogs put a thing put food out there they're going to try to eat as much as they can they can try to get the other one pigs do the same thing they'll try to eat as much as they can so the other ones can't get it and they and it ends up growing um, quicker from my experience and um so 
we get the, we get the pigs in the spring raise uh raise them all summer long butcher them in the fall i have them in a, a 35 by 15 by 35 by 15 area with premier premier one netting it's kind of this is experiment i was doing for the company um this uh this go around with pigs um i don't know if this is something i'll do in the future i want to build a pig pen in a barn all that stuff um but this is definitely an option i'll always have and this proves that anyone out there that has a small area of land that are allowed to have pigs they can raise these pigs what's going on over there Gabby's running around. They can, you can raise it. You can raise these pigs in a small area. They don't need a big area. They don't need a big shelter. Um, they need some shade. They need they need something to get out from underneath the rain. They need some water and they need some food. That's all they need. It's awesome. Um, pigs are probably the, uh, my favorite animals to raise um, on the farm. They're just so easy and they're a stress reliever. Um, to just sit out here and watch. I wish I, I wish I could get them tape for you guys so we could get a guessment on it. Um, but it's not going to happen. I tried for 10 minutes and they're just not having anything to do with it. Um, but all right, that's all I got for you on the pigs. Hope you guys liked today's video. If you did like it, smash that like button for me if you would. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I just ask you please subscribe. You guys, thanks so much for watching the channel. Me and my family greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much. We love you guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.